Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a treat. This is a uh, a Blue Mountain beer. This is called a Hopwork Orange. Uh, sort of a pun on the, I guess the movie, The Clockwork Orange. That was done a long, long time ago, guys. Uh, very strange movie indeed. Uh, hopefully this beer is not going to be very strange. But what, what this is, uh, according to the commercial description here, it says... Our orange infused IPA will be available in cans March 2015. Like Crystal Malt with a heavy hand of Simcoe, Cascade, and Centennial hops, complemented by natural orange flavorings. Not big into adding flavorings to a beer, but it is what it is. Uh, Peter sent this to me, so uh, uh, sent me two of them, as a matter of fact, so I feel kind of obligated to. Uh, to review this one. I've not had it before. Had a bunch of stuff in Blue Mountain since they're only a couple hours up the road here. Haven't been up there in a long time though. When they first opened up I made a trip up there and sampled some of their stuff but they have done a bunch of different stuff since then so uh, they definitely uh, go outside the box if you will on a lot of their stuff. So and a lot of breweries do. Uh, they like to experiment and brew something different that nobody else has done. So let's get on with this one guys. This is a seven percenter. I'll be using on this is 65. Uh, and this one does have a date on it. It says Best Buy October 20th of 2015. Rather see a canned on date instead of a Best Buy date because some of these brewers do a three, four, five, even six months shelf life on some of their beers and I'm just not keen on drinking an IPA that's been in a bottle or a can six months. I mean it's lost pretty much most of its hot profile by then in my, in my humble opinion. So I'd uh, much rather see these guys do a canned on date. I've noticed Stone's even doing a bottle on date instead of a, uh, uh, I mean uh, enjoy by date instead of a bottle on date on a lot of their stuff. So. Rather see that bottle on a canned on date instead of an enjoy by because you don't know what the, their shelf life uh, is a lot of them because it varies from brewery to brewery. All right, uh, food pairings for this beer is your typical IPA uh, food pairings. Cuis cuisine is, uh, well, actually, uh, actually, here we go. Let me get the right screen up here. Yep. Food pairings, cuisine is a curried and a Thai. The cheeses are peppery, pepper jack, Monterey, sharp blue cheddar. And these are just suggestions, guys. You can eat eat and drink what you want together. Uh, meat for this is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I will add grilled meat. Glass rod, pint, becker, uh, nonic, tumbler, mug, stein, and sidel. I'm using my solvent beer glass here. And not recommended for extended salary because it is an IPA. That's one reason why I'd rather see a canned on or bottled on date instead of an enjoy by date. Uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so don't, even though know, my beer reviews are getting longer and longer and longer, and I need to cut back, quit flapping my gum so much, so. Get this into the glass here. Pour it a little aggressive on the back end, maybe generate a little bit of a head here. Peter, thanks for sending down the beers you did. I do appreciate it. It was a pleasure to meet you at the Rare Beer Festival. Good looking beer in the glass. Nice orange tangerine color. Very nice, very amber. Uh, got a slight chill haze on it. I can see the bulb right through it. Very good looking beer. Let's get a nose on this. See if we can find them oranges they keep talking about. Very citrusy. I am getting that orange tangerine aroma. A hint, just a slight hint of some pine. There's some grapefruit, orange, and tangerine is the dominant, uh, dominant aroma on there. So let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Peter. Mm. 
definitely got the orange influence from that natural flavor of orange they've added. Definitely getting on the back end too. 65 IBUs, nice bitterness, nice sweetness. Pretty nice beer. I mean, it's uh, pretty tasty. First beer of the day, so first beer is usually pretty tasty. Oh yeah, very nice. Well, let's try it out the 3 40 degrees. Let's let it warm up. Let her taste it and see what she thinks of it. And we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this one, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Sipping on a little while, and it's a decent beer. It's uh, not outstanding or <laughs> nothing to write home about. Not really not much into the flavored beers, guys. I'm not much in the fruity beers or, 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 or beers that's had some kind of flavor added to it. I mean, uh, a lot of beers you can get that orangey, grapefruity, mango, pineapple taste from the hops. I really don't think you need to add any kind of orange flavoring or anything uh, unless you're just wanting something that has a heavy orange flavoring to it. So maybe you orange heads out there might really, really like this. But to me, it's uh, a little bit of overkill on, on the orange to me. Uh, I, don't, I think you can get that from the hops if you, uh, if you know what hops to add. So. Uh, just my opinion. So let's do the final chug on this one. Definitely got the orange. Now that's warmed up, it's definitely orange. It almost smells like a, one of those uh, cream sickles or whatever. Oh well. Final chug. Definitely reminds me of a cream sickle now that it's warmed up a little bit. Heavy on the orange influence. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine. Strong bitterness on the back end. A decent beer. I don't think it's quite to the A category. Uh, I, in my book, uh, it's a 7. It's a B plus. So uh, definitely worth trying if you can get your hands on it. Uh, especially if you're an orange juice head. Or, or like a like a lot of oranges or orange influences in your beer, this is a this has definitely got an orange influence to it, with the orange flavorings they've added to it. It's kicked it up a notch on the oranges. So uh, seven for me, guys. B plus. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 87 in the very good range, and Great Beer says 71 overall and 93 in the style. So those are the numbers. Uh, I think it's a, a a decent beer, definitely above average beer. But not quite to the A category. Uh, not much into the fruity beers or the beers that's had some kind of flavorings added to them. So. But just my opinion, you may love it. You may think it's the best thing you ever tasted. So if you can get your hands on it, give it a try. And if you have, you have had it, let me know what you think, guys. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we'll see something that's got a date on it and don't have any flavors added to it. We'll see you then.